Okay, are we on? <laughs> All right, great. Uh, Ralph, was it appropriate for the president to tweet, in America, we don't worship government, we worship God? Yes. Why wouldn't it be? Yeah, I don't get the question. <laughs> I mean, it's, you know, I guess... No, no one's for us worshiping the government, are they? No. Okay, good. I mean, I'm not for worshiping God, but, so I, we but I get the... Yeah, I get, yeah, I, uh, yeah, well, no, no one's... <laughs> that's why we write the questions for the <laughs> regular show. <laughs> in overtime, we, we get whatever people send in. Uh, <laughs> Should reporters be worried that the Trump administration will go after them for their sources as they try to contain leaks? You mean kind of like Obama? It. You mean kind of <laughs> like Obama did? Yeah, Obama did. He did. He did. did. Yeah, right. That's absolutely right. More Obama, get out here and defend yourself. <laughs> <laughs> but, you, but you didn't have the attorney general up on the podium, essentially saying they're going to tighten the screws. I tell you, what's scary is what he was saying in Virginia, West Virginia, yesterday, t telling that crowd, you know, they're trying to take it away from you. You know, this is third world stuff when you, when you start putting that idea in people's heads. Because I, I, what, what is going to happen if it comes to that? Were well, they going to remove where he is impeached or they remove him from office? And he don't want to go. I don't think he's going to go voluntarily. I, I, think, I think we're getting a little ahead of ourselves. No, I don't. Well, Look, what, where's I mean, me as a reporter? Yeah, yeah, this that, is a guy who I mean, said, you're talking impeachment? Well. Is that the agenda? Yeah. Well. I think for okay. Democrats. You know, uh, I think, I think you need to have a little more evidence than when, you got right now. Well, uh, the, you know, when your, your son takes a meeting with the Russians and the headline on the email from him mm -hmm. says, you know, we have dirt from the Russian government on your opponent, just taking that meeting to me is traitorous. I don't, I don't care what was said at the meeting or if anything came out of the meeting. By the way, uh, just on that point, and, and Mr. Reed, I mean, I've written a lot about Veselnitskaya and that whole affair. This is a woman who, by her own admission to the Wall Street Journal, has a personal relationship with Yuri Chaika, who's the mm -hmm. prosecutor general of Russia. If Jeff Sessions sent one of his lawyerly minions to a foreign country to feed dirt on an opposition candidate, you bet that that country would raise hell over the, the fact. She yeah. also was a defense attorney for a Russian money laundering entity accused by the New York Southern District of having received millions of dollars from a notorious tax fraud perpetrated a decade ago. She's been a lobbyist against U.S. sanctions. A Google search on this woman would have told the Trump camp, stay the hell away. The fact that she got couldn't, that meeting couldn't, couldn't agree more. Is and by the way, Donald Trump Jr. has said that if he had to do it over again, he would have, he would have acted. Yeah, but his father way. said but that anyone would is, have taken that meeting. The point is, she wasn't sent by the Russian government. She was sent by a bizarre pop music well, promoter under a false well, guise that. that she but had you information. Don't know that. No, that was who sent well, I thought, Donald. No, I can I tell you based on my own reporting. But she I, I, was the one who sent the email the and said, "You want to meet with this out woman?" Out of the non-Republican bubble, she I don't had, think people. I don't no, think people believe she yet has and told, know until she, Bob Mueller says that right. she wasn't sent okay, by the Okay, until somebody government. has evidence. But, all I'm saying is, I'm not defending this woman or saying that the meeting should have happened. All I'm saying is, until somebody has tangible, real evidence that she coordinated with Russian government officials in setting up the meeting, that information harmful to Hillary Clinton was presented, then it's a nothing meeting. And but wait. by the way, there, there's only one proven evidence of collusion by any foreign government uh, with a campaign or a party during the last election. And it was when an operative for the Democratic National Committee, this has been reported by Politico, went to the Ukrainian embassy, met with Ukrainian officials, got information damaging to Paul Manafort, leaked it to the media, leaked it to other people, and he was forced to resign as campaign manager because of it. That was a foreign government and a Democratic National Committee operative that did that. <laughs> the information the Ukrainian embassy had came from a Ukrainian reporter yeah. who disclosed it, an anti-corruption it crusader. Also, the DNC operative is a Ukrainian-American who was in charge of was outreach to the ethnic... was a consultant to the Democratic National Committee. Correct. But what I'm saying is it came from civil society, not the Ukrainian government. No, she... And the information went, happened to be and true. Also, That's she, the material I, difference. She, no, that has not been demonstrated to be true. The ledger... Paul Manafort and the Black Ledger? No, the, the, the ledger that was presented has not been demonstrated to be authentic. And even if it was authentic, this was the influence of a foreign government in a campaign. And again, it gets back to the selective but, outrage. You know, that nobody's well, upset about that going on, but everybody's upset about Russia. But it wasn't, well, it wasn't a foreign uh, government influencing yeah, the campaign. Again, you, you can find any example of anything in some small degree somewhere else. Can I read just what the, the, the email said that Don 
Jr. got very high level and sensitive information that is part of Russia and its government support of Mr. Trump. Russia and its government support of Mr. Trump. Yeah. This is from the pop music promoter, right? Okay. Well, okay. but that's you, only you one you of honest, eight people Bill, at you that meeting. Well, he was a liaison. You honestly yes. believe that a conspiracy to have the Russian government collude with the Trump campaign, that the intermediary would be a pop music promoter? Well, he was more really? than his father. But this who is, is how his... things are done. It's not yeah, like Boris and Natasha. This... It's not John right. Le Carré. Yeah. Putin, Putin finds semi-anonymous, right. plausibly deniable people, of and course. they're seconded as emissaries. By the way, at that meeting was a man called Renat Akhmeshin. Renat Akhmeshin was in the KGB during the Soviet period. You can read about this in the New York Times. So a former, quote-unquote, Russian spy attended the meeting with Ms. Veselnitskaya, which Don Jr., okay. Jared and what Kushner, what and Paul What Manafort information did. did he provide to anybody? We don't know. Okay. Okay. Fr frankly, I don't trust anybody who was at that meeting because they all say different things. Veselnitskaya right. denied all, having a contact in Moscow. They all say that it immediately went to a discussion of Russian adoption and the Magnitsky Act. Yes, they but all say that. Veselnitskaya yes. was campaigning have, against the Magnitsky Act. We have contemporaneous texts and emails from people who were in the meeting saying, this is a waste of my time, get me out of here. And yet Don I mean, Jr. changed his explanation for taking the meeting and the contents that were discussed therein multiple times. He also, he also released the emails to the American public and is cooperating no. fully well, with all of the New York no. Times. They they had, they didn't Hillary release Clinton them. deleted 33,000 oh, emails. Here, here, here an exclusive. We go. Hillary <laughs> Clinton it's claimed so, that so. every email oh. that was deleted Let me ask was you just personal. One question. Just one and question. Jim Comey has testified that she deleted work and State Department related emails. If there was an email from someone in the Are Clinton about campaign that? that said, hey, there's an Iranian government lawyer or a North Korean government lawyer who wants to come and meet with us to give us shit on Donald Trump. You and every other Republican in this country would be calling her a traitor. Okay? It demonstrates no. a willingness to no. collude. No. That is what Donald Wrong. Jr. did. And his father Wrong, had a Michael. hand in what? writing that explanation. You know what we would have said? Know. We would have said the same thing that we said about John Podesta. John Podesta, when he got when he got spam, putting right. his password in and allowing somebody to, to get his emails. We would have said Ralph. that was not a smart okay. thing to do. It was not a smart thing to have a meeting. That doesn't make it treasonous. Okay. And it doesn't right. make gonna, it collusion. We're not solve and you it. have no evidence that it is either. We're not going to solve no it here. You have no evidence that it is either. Let me get off this subject on okay. something else. <laughs> Beyond that, I have no opinion on the matter. <laughs> um, before I get back to the cards, because we were talking about, about the Antichrist, well, I always wondered, and maybe, maybe you can answer this for me, uh, what is the difference between the Antichrist and the devil. They're not the same person, right? No, they're not. They're, they're two different fictional characters. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not... Okay, I mean, what? Uh, religious figures, whatever, but... So there's the devil and there's the antichrist. But there must be some... Uh, are they competitive? Does one work with one below the... Is the devil... <laughs> Does the devil work for the Antichrist? Does the Antichrist I, work you know, for the Bill, devil? I, what, I what is their relationship? Bill, I, I want to know, know that. We were, I didn't know Do we you were know that? I didn't know we were well, doing a Bible study tonight. I, but I, I just want to explain wanted, it to yeah, you. Please tell me the, the relationship between the devil and the Antichrist. Okay, the, the, the devil is the, the <laughs> enemy of God and of heaven and of God's people. He seeks to kill them, destroy them, deceive them, okay? The Antichrist <laughs> comes along at a stage in history, and we, we don't know when, it's in the book of Revelation, wow. but he acts as a deceiver and an instrument of the devil to deceive people and get them to So he, the Antichrist people. works for the devil? Ultimately, The devil yeah. is on the... On the Got it? <laughs> Which one on is the Steve chart? Yeah. Is <laughs> a contract employee. Kristen, could Trump's approval numbers ever go below 35? They could. And uh, part of why I say that is I am no longer in the business of ruling out any possible outcome when it comes to Donald Trump on the high or low end. Uh, he still has a lot of support within the Republican Party. Yeah. A lot of support. Um, yes, he does. That, that yes, he, he has, does. You know, that when he makes the case that people are out to get him and that's why things have not necessarily all panned out quite right. as well as you would have said, there, there are an awful lot of voters that say, yeah, I, I don't trust the media, I don't trust the government, this sounds but, right know, to me. Here... And, and I, th I think that within his own party, as long as he's able to hang on to 60 to 70 percent, 
and maybe keep one out of every five independents. You you hover around that 35. But you know, and he's it, doing more than that right now. I mean, he's 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 roughly 80 percent among Republicans, and I can just tell you, Bill, that regardless of what the polls say. I, I live right next to Georgia 6, which was the most expensive congressional race in history. $60 million in a congressional race. This is a district that is not Trump country. Donald right. Trump only carried it by 1.5%. Sure. That's the John Ossoff election. Right? Exactly. Yeah. 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 And this is a plus 10 Republican district. And uh, yeah. so Trump is not uh, necessarily the most popular guy in the district, but he came in. He campaigned for her. Karen Handel did not disassociate herself from her, from him. He did robocalls for her. He did a fundraiser no. for her, and and Karen Handel won by four points. I think the the uh, thirty five percent they're asking about. Here's an interesting stat: thirty two percent of Trump voters think this Don Jr. meeting didn't take place, even though the source of it is Don Jr. <laughs> <laughs> that now there's some loyalty there. But, here, but, but here's something Trump is doing. He had a rally in West Virginia the other night, and what he did from the stage was essentially say, they're coming after me, they're trying to disempower you and take away your vote. Yes. What he was doing, though, I think was clever. He was trying to conscript his followers into this Russia scandal and make it about something broader than his possible personal corruption or his families or his staffs. He is thinking ahead a couple steps so that if he is indicted or someone close to him is indicted, he is going to have the strength and the following to back him up in a way that Richard Nixon didn't. Nixon's party abandoned him. Trump is strengthening that connection with his followers so that he doesn't fall below 70 percent, well, 60 and, percent. And, and, and if and a Josh, constitutional I, crisis I, comes... I think that, he, that the Trump team has gone to school on the way Clinton handled his own difficulties. They look at how they, oh, they basically made it partisan... Yeah, yeah, yeah. They went after the special prosecutor, and they said, this is out to stop my agenda. And we'll see how this no, ends. Do you think, but, but that's but exactly what Steve Bannon, in particular, has studied and talked to Lenny Davis, who was Hillary's yeah. pit bull during Bill, during the Whitewater investigation. They're literally taking the same playbook. But the other thing to bear in mind is that Monica Lewinsky didn't set foot in the White House until two years after the special prosecutor had been appointed. The, right. These are the sorts of things that can spiral and develop. And so it's possible that at this point in time, there was no collusion and nothing happened. But if somebody changes their story under oath, that's how you get Well, caught. and this and is, this is why these... special counsels and independent prosecutors are such a bad idea, because... <laughs> It, it, no, it, there's a reason why the law was allowed to lapse and it wasn't renewed, because, because when Ken Starr started out investigating yeah. a, a real estate deal in the Ozarks, right. and he ended up chasing a blue dress. Right. All right, Patrick Fitzgerald was appointed to find out who leaked Valerie Plame's name. On day one, he knew who all three sources were, and he had determined it was not a crime. And Scooter Libby still got indicted and I and convicted, and I had friends who had to go before the grand jury two, three, four times and ran up hundreds of thousands of dollars in bills. And what a lot of people don't think about in a moment like this is it isn't just Donald Trump and it isn't just his family members. They're, they're well off financially. It's everybody else who gets caught into this dragnet, did nothing wrong, and are borderline bankrupted because of a special prosecutor that goes amok. Well, I hope it doesn't happen with Bob Mueller. I understand that he's a stand-up guy, and I hope it doesn't happen, but the history of these independent Le councils is not encouraging. Legal bills are a problem. I agree, Ralph. Compared to the survival of the republic, no, I'm I talking, think you, Jesus I'm talking Christ. About, I mean, this is what you're no, worried I'm about. Talking about people. Legal, no, yes, Bill. I mean, I'm talking about nothing people. is perfect. No, okay. I'm okay. talking about people who were Final. appointed to investigate one thing, okay. and they go investigate oh, wow. another. Thing. Right, but keep in mind that the special counsel was appointed <laughs> because President Trump fired the FBI director, and the FBI director said, "I took contemporaneous notes because I thought the president was going to lie about the contents of our discussions, and also I felt he was putting." undue pressure on me as FBI director to make this whole Russia thing go away. If they're going to get him on anything, it'll probably be obstruction of justice rather than Do you believe conspiracy. That Vladimir Putin has ordered the murder of people? Absolutely. Do you think Trump is capable of that? No. Do you? No, I don't think so. Well, I can tell you as somebody who studies the... Because I do. <laughs>
I think he loves dictators, loves the way they behave, compliments them all the time. CC and that nut in the Philippines and Erdogan and Kim Jong Un is a smart cookie. Right. I think what do you think? I think he you think Donald Trump I would is not, capable of ordering I would not, murder? I would not hazard a guess, but I would say that he's capable and likely to fire Bob Mueller if he can at some point. And the big question over the next one, two, three years is, will he have the strength to survive the constitutional crisis that follows? I, I don't agree with that, by the way. Michael, I, would, I, don't, I don't believe he's going to do he'll extrajudicial fire Bob assassinations. Yes, do you think he's capable of, of ordering that if he could? I think if he, if he thought he could get away with it, he would. But there one thing go. that we've, we've learned is the resiliency of American institutions has checked this guy tremendously. That's right. why he's just the man well, raging in the tower. Why can't I do what I just want to do? And, and we've seen from Republicans more skeptical of Trump than Ralph that in the Senate they've moved to block him from removing Mueller as easily as he could right now by putting in some laws, by um, having there be an appeals process in the event that he does manage no. to Trump, get Mueller Trump's out. So, own, so Republicans Trump's are worried about this eventuality, have said too. publicly he has no intention of firing Bob Mueller. They said it. As he himself said publicly, in July, his own lawyers. time will tell. I think tell. it's a relevant fact. Time will tell. <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody. Yeah.